Hello, my name is Dennis, and I think it is safe to say that I have successfully survived a six month long quarantine. Did I read a lot? No, but here's what I did read. First one was a streetcar named Desire. I had to read this for school and I kind of liked it a lot. It's a classic play about a woman named Blanche Dubois who visits her sister and her brother-in-law, um, Stanley Kowalski. Spoiler alert, he's an asshole, she goes crazy, I rated it four stars. The next one I read was In Pain, a bioethicist's struggle with opioids, and the book is kind of self-explanatory. It goes into the author's um, struggle with opioid dependency, the science and what we know about opioid addiction, and like the history of opium in America and across the world. Very good read, five stars. The next one was one of the unlimited titles that um, the app Libby provided for, I think, a week. Um, if you don't know what Libby is, it's probably one of my favorite apps ever. I'm not sponsored, don't worry. But with just your library card, the app helps you access like a ton of different eBooks and audiobooks that your library already provides. Like it goes straight from the library to my phone. I don't have to leave the house. I can get it all on my phone. It's pretty cool. But the book that I got from there was called Funny You Don't Look Autistic. It's by an autistic comedian. I read it in audiobook format and it was very engaging. I really liked the way that the author narrated it. Obviously it's his book, so like he narrated it perfectly. Um, it's very good, good stuff. Wasn't crazy, but definitely good, three stars. Next one is called Thinking Fast and Slow. It was about the difference between intuition and fast thinking and more logical, slower thinking and the advantages and disadvantages of both. Um, the reason behind why we use both, stuff like that. Um, was definitely a snooze fest at some points, but I thought it was still informative, interesting at other points. Four stars. Next one I read was If It Bleeds, and I know I've mentioned this book in like probably three other videos now, um, but it's Stephen King's most recent release, and I'm not gonna talk about it because I've already talked about it like three other times, but I made a video about it. <laughs> So you should check it out if you care. Paul, the mind of the apostle, um, kind of zoned out during a good portion of this book, but from what I did read, it was pretty cool. Had a few pretty cool points, but nah, two stars. The program, the program, the program by Suzanne Young. I've probably talked about this one like a hundred times already, but it's okay. I will mention it one last time. This is the last time I'm gonna mention the program for a long time, but I have a video dedicated solely to this book if you would like to check it out. Um, but this was an amazing, amazing, amazing book. I loved it, great stuff, five stars. And then lastly, the Hunger Games trilogy. So the first one was good, great intro, would have been great as a standalone book, but she made more, four stars. Second book was even better, loved it, ton of action, best book in the whole trilogy, five stars, period. Third one was boring. Third one was really boring, but it's fine. It had to end somehow, like it had a somewhat satisfying ending. So three stars. I only read the trilogy because I'm getting ready to read The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which perfectly segues into the other topic I wanted to talk about in this video, um, which is the TBR for the rest of the year. So for the fall 2020 semester, or like the rest of the year, I want to complete Ariel Bissett's um, ending Big Book Fear Challenge um, by December 31st, the end of the year. The goal here is to not only read big books, which I don't typically do, but actually pay attention <laughs> the whole way through um, because I have a nasty little habit of zoning out while reading and, I kinda, and then kind of skimming through when I get a little bored. Um, so we're gonna try and not do that. I want to read every single word. I want to absorb every single word that I read. I definitely don't have a fear per se of big books, but I definitely do avoid them sometimes just because they're, they're big. I'm lazy. I will also challenge myself not to check out audio or ebook versions of these books. I just 
I just want to stick to physical copies so that I'm forced to sit down and actually read and understand what I'm reading. The books I'm going to be reading in this order are the same books that she was challenging herself to read because I'm not very creative, but in this order probably is the books I'm going to read. So the first one we have is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes um, by Suzanne Collins. Um, this one is 517 pages. I wanted to read this one first um, and get it out of the way so I can um, give it to Kaylee when I'm done because I know she wanted to read this one too. IQ84, which is 1,157 pages. Dune, which is 617 pages. I wanted to do these two next um, because I want to give them to another friend once I'm done with them because I know she's interested in them. Moby Dick, which is 655 pages. Crime and Punishment, which is 521 pages. The Secret History, which is 559 pages. And Frida, a biography of Frida Kahlo, which is 440 pages. Um, and I will probably be giving this one to my mom once I'm done reading it, because I know she likes her a lot. And that is a total of 4,466 pages. Nice, okay. Um, I'm gonna try and read a book for every couple of weeks starting September 1st. Um, but we will see how long that plan holds. Um, but all books will be done by December 31st, period. Everything will be done on time. I just don't know how quickly I'm gonna be reading them. Um, I don't really plan on separately reviewing each book as I read them, unless I actually feel compelled to. Like, I might do it for The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes just because that came out, that's really hot right now. Other than that, I'll probably just do a big wrap up in December, going over how I felt about all of them as a whole. Um, obviously more descriptive than I was with my wrap up um, just now, just because I don't remember a lot of the books anymore. I don't, I don't really have any strong feelings towards a lot of the books that I read during quarantine. But I'll probably do a wrap up of these books in December or January and talk about them all at once unless you guys really want me to do different videos for every book as I finish them. Probably not, but let me know in the comments. That would be great. But that's gonna be all for now. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed hearing about what I read recently. And don't be afraid to let me know down in the comments what you've read recently. Bye.